Hello everyone. I'm Asanja Mtitwa. I'm a lecturer and a researcher at the University of KwaZulu Natal in Peter Marisberg campus. This morning I'm going to make a brief presentation on my project update. The title of my presentation is the effect of ozonated cold storage on superficial scarred incidence of Granny Smith apples. Superficial scarlet is a major uh, physiological disorder affecting uh, the poor service quality of Granny Smith apples. There are various technologies which have been developed to control this disorder. However, some of these technologies are not environmental friendly and some of them are quite very costly. Hence, there is a need to continue researching and finding alternative technologies that can be used by the industry. The use of ozone as a post service treatment has gained popularity in recent years. Um, ozone has been shown to prolong the post service life of various horticultural products and it prolongs the shelf life through what is called ozone meditated oxidation of ethylene. And you will remember that ethylene plays a crucial role in the development of superficial scald due to its involvement in the accumulation of alpha fanacy as well as uh, MHO as well as uh, conjugated trinos. Um, however, even though you know we are aware of this ozone mediated oxidation of ethylene, there is no research. Um, you know, which has closely looked at the potential of ozone um, as the post harvest treatment of ables in order to control superficial scalp. Therefore, the objective of this study was to investigate whether um, ozone can actually be effective, you know, to control um, superficial, superficial scalp of Granny Smith ables. Granny Smith apples harvested at optimal maturity were stored for up to 15 weeks in an ozone chamber and the concentration of ozone was 0.3 ppm and the control treatment was um, stored at 0 degrees centigrade um, at 95% relative humidity. Quality assessments were conducted at three weeks interval um, these included scald incidence, total soluble solids, tractable acidity, um, as well as fruit firmness. Um, the, the, the data was thereafter analyzed uh, using GenStat um, 17th edition, and the means were separated um, according to Duncan's multiple range test. The results showed that ozone has no effect on TSS, TA, as well as fruit firmness. However, when it comes to scalp incidence, a different picture um, was shown. You will notice that from that table, there was um, a high incidence of scald, 80% incidence of scald after 15 weeks of cold storage. However, for ozone, it was 0% until the trial was actually terminated. Um, so it actually showed that um, ozone uh, at 0 0.3 ppm does have a potential to control superficial scald. However, we had a serious issue with the ozone treatment. If you look at that picture, um, uh, fruit which was stored in ozone had necrotic spot. And this is something which has previously been reported um, in other studies, you know, which is associated with high concentration of ozone. Studies by Antos et al. in 2018 showed that um, ozone concentrations of 5 to 20 ppm have a potential to cause necrosis of lenticels in apples regardless of exposure time. 
and this is the challenge that we also had in this experiment um, so going forward we're going to lower the concentration of ozone we're going to use 40 to 60 pbb and try to see whether you know such lower ozone concentrations can actually be effective in reducing um, scar incidence. We're also going to include um, some biochemistry. Uh, we're going to see how ozone affects um, alpha fantasy. We're going to see how ozone affects MHO and all other um, phytochemicals, you know, which actually linked to ozone um, incidence. Thank you so much for your attention. I'd like to un un um, acknowledge Horcross Science uh, as well as for Service Innovation Fund for funding this project. And I'd like to thank Mr. Tokozani Nkosi for his technical assistance. Thank you so much.